Hi, my name is Alex Jordan. I'm a biologist and I study fish and sex. I guess I've always been interested in biology. Uh, I've always kept fish tanks on my desk. And they kept, you know, the goldfish, uh, gouramis, guppies, that sort of thing. Uh, and I eventually worked my way up to keeping this group of fish called cichlids. I just got really fascinated by their behaviour, and in particular, their reproduction and their breeding behaviour. And just kind of kept that going throughout my university career and um, ended up doing a PhD on fish. So my current research examines the interaction between reproductive behaviour in particular uh, and the social environment of an animal. So most animals or all animals at some point in their life are social uh, and that can have really strong effects on what they do and where they do it and how they do it. So I look at how the behaviour of the individual affects the behaviour of other animals in their social group and then I look at the, the complementary relationship about how what the group is doing or the group structure, the group dynamics affect the behaviour of the individual and how this sort of loop uh, feeds back on itself. And in particular these days I look at how the sensory and the cognitive abilities of the animals interact with their environment to shape their behaviour and obviously vice versa. In terms of my favourite study species, uh, I guess I'm pretty lucky that I've worked with a whole bunch of things. I've worked with honeybees, I've worked with these big spiders in Australia as big as your hand. But my favourite thing and the thing that you know keeps me in biology and the reason I started was obviously for fish. And in particular these fish, these fish called cichlids from Lake Tanganyika, um, which to me are the, the peak of, of animal behaviour. One of these lakes in Africa, next to Lake Tanganyika, has been called Darwin's Dream Pond because of this fabulous diversity of these, of these fish and their behaviours um, and their colours. And so this is a pretty magical place for biologists. A typical day in my life really depends on where I am. Uh, if I'm in the field, it's uh, up at dawn, hit the boats, get into the water and scuba diving for a few hours, come up, you know, try and purge the nitrogen out of the system and have a lunch of what's probably two or three thousand dollars worth of fish in the aquarium trade, you know. There sitting on your plate is a fish that would be someone's prized possession in their, uh, in their fish tanks. And then back in the water again for another few hours of observations, experiments, come up out of the water, back on the boat and then hit the sack and then do it all again the next day. It's very, very nice. The thing I love most about my job, um, well obviously you know, I get to keep fish and play around with fish and, and watch fish, which is what I would be doing probably anyway, but for me it's a really wonderful experience to be able to talk about ideas and in particular the stuff I'm interested in, evolution and selective processes and sexual selection, that sort of thing. Now that I have my own lab group forming, it's given me a real uh, new experience, a really wonderful experience. They can see the fish and the behaviours and the biology with a fresh set of eyes and really challenge my ideas, tell me things that they think that I have never thought about and it really offers a wonderful sort of new perspective for me and it's a really enjoyable experience having that interaction. <laughs> <laughs>